Hi everybody, happy Monday and welcome to another episode of Art Ventures at Home. I'm Mrs. Grass with your daily dose of art. Thank you guys for tuning in today. We are so happy that you follow us and that you share our videos and that you create with us every day. It means so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, today on the docket for our lesson is card making and inspirational posters. We've been so inspired by the makers that are out there working hard to help their community. Uh, and we thought maybe we can help out a little bit too by using our creative abilities to bring some joy to others. So today we're going to talk about some programs out there that you can get involved with for creating uh, drawings to, to make for people. I'm going to show you some simple ways to make cards and some posters and I'm going to give you the information you need to send it to the right people. Let's get started. Here is what you're going to need for today's project. Uh, you're going to need paper that you can use to turn into cards. If you have regular uh, printer paper that works great. If you have pre-made cards that you've gotten at a craft store, fabulous. Uh, I have quite a few of these because we love card making at the studio at Gallery North. We offer a lot of card making programs and we uh, have a lot of makers who get involved in creating cards that we sell at our gift shop um, and our gallery shop. So we have a lot of card making supplies lying around. It's just perfect for this project. You're going to want some color paper, you know, something fun that you might be able to cut up and use for your poster designs or your cards, uh, any scrap paper will do. And if you don't have this, like no big deal, don't worry about it. You can <laughs> <laughs> run away paper. You can um, create your own colored paper by taking some uh, plain white paper and coloring it or painting it the colors you'd like and then cutting it up to use it. So colored papers would be great. You can even use old paintings or things that you've given up on but are filled with great color. This is an old watercolor painting I had. I love the colors. I didn't love the picture, so I cut it up. I'm gonna use this in my cards today. Uh, and then you're gonna need some glue and some markers and of course some scissors. Make sure that the scissors that you're using today are the right size for your hands. You'll be better at cutting if you're using the right size scissor for you. Okay. Once you have everything you need, you can get started. Hello. Okay, everybody. So I wanted to start with cards today because there was actually an advertisement in the local paper for a need for cards. And it came from... Um, the uh, Smithtown News, it turns out that there are many nursing homes that have been um, quarantined for about a month now, and their residents are feeling a little lonely and haven't been able to see their families, all out of social distancing and precaution uh, for, their, for their health and safety, but it looks like that they'd love some cheering up. And there's a request for cards to be shared uh, with the local government and they will disperse them to your local uh, nursing homes or assisted living facilities. So uh, I have uh, a card here that I've started. I'm going to show you how I made it. Uh, card making is so much fun. You can have a lot of uh, fun cutting shapes out and decorating however you'd like. Um, so I have a folded piece of paper here and I had found some of my duct tape, you know, my uh, mermaid sort of printed duct tape and thought it would be great to use it as the spine of my, my card, which reminded me that uh, you don't have to use a folded piece of paper to make a card. You could take two pieces of paper that are separate from each other, like this. So here's a piece and here's a piece, okay? And you could take tape and put it together the way that we put our 
book covers together uh, for our very first Art Ventures at Home lesson. When we made sketchbooks, we took a piece of duct tape that was a little bit longer than our book covers. And then we placed our book covers down on top of that tape and fold it over the tape. And then put a little extra in the middle so that all that sticky duct tape got covered. And then we folded it. So you can make a card that way too. You can use tape to hold two pieces of paper together to make a card, which is a pretty nifty way to make a card. You know, handmade cards are really special. And I know I've been making handmade cards for years. My aunt, Aunt Nancy, shout out to you if you're watching today's lesson. She always saves my handmade cards, which is a really wonderful thing for me. I love, it, it warms my heart that she does that. So I wanted to decorate the cover first before I went inside to write a note. And I decided I was going to take one of my um, one of the pieces of my old watercolor painting and I was going to stick it on the cover, sort of make it like a little frame for a shape that I'm going to add to it later. So when I'm ready, I can glue this down and then I can write anything I want on it and decorate this little window, I could go right over it and start writing things on here, like wishing you well. It's really important that when you're making a card that you're using your best handwriting too. So it's extra special and you'll get better at handwriting the more that you develop your muscles in your hands and that fine motor coordination. You know, I cut out this heart when I was making this card and this is the negative space. It sort of reminds me of a Matisse lesson. This is the negative space heart. So I think I want to use it for this card and I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to add it somewhere. I think I'm going to add it. I think I'm going to add it. Oh, it's so hard. <gasps> no, maybe on the inside. Yeah, I'm going to add it on the inside. I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to glue that in where I want it to go. I don't want to give you any specific instructions on how to design your card. When you're creating a card, it should come from the heart and you should just have a lot of fun cutting and gluing and writing and putting things together. So have fun decorating, decorating it how you'd like. Uh, wishing you well was on the cover. So um, thinking of you, I'll put on the inside. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I made a mistake here. I didn't spell that right. I was so preoccupied with thinking about my design that I messed up what I was spelling, but I can figure this out, no big deal. I think I'll do this. I'm gonna color this in. I'm gonna go right over my letters. It's really important that when you're working that if you think you've made a mistake, you don't get upset about it. Just take a deep breath and come up with a new plan. That's what it means to be a maker. Makers are problem solvers. They can figure it out. And since you guys are making with me today, you're definitely makers. Look at that, you can't even see my spelling error anymore. It's just part of my design now. And I can go back in with my marker, a new color this time, and I can write what I wanted to write. And that was thinking of you. X O X O X O X O. Maybe I want to draw a picture on my card. 
you know, that always brightens someone di someone's day. I think I'm gonna do, let's see, something that reminds me of a lesson we did together not too long ago, and that's chickens. I'm gonna draw a chicken. Ta-da! You can add anything you want to your card. Really, have a lot of fun doing it. I think I wanna add something more to the cover though. I've got some pretty cool colored papers here. I love this turquoise, so I think I'm going to cut a squiggly wiggly shape out. I'm just going to think about Matisse and how he was cutting shapes and drawing with scissors, and I'm just going to cut a squiggly wiggly shape out. And I'm going to put it here. And I'm going to cut another squiggly wiggly shape out. I'll put it here. Yeah. Oh, this one will go this way. Just like that. And in this, I could, I'm going to draw something. Ta da! I can glue that down. So the cards are going to go to senior citizens who are in nursing homes. So think about what you think they might like to hear when they open a card. Hope you're well, uh, sending smiles your way, can't wait to see you soon, stay happy and healthy, hearts and loves and hugs, maybe something for, that has sunshine on it or rainbows. There's my card. I'm gonna make a small collection of these and then send them off um, to the address they gave us in hopes that they're going to reach a senior citizen in a nursing home. For the information to send these cards, uh, I'm gonna share it with you at the end of the video. So you can do the same as me. Maybe you know someone in, in a nursing home and you wanna send it straight to the person you know we made cards the other day for my nanny and she got big posters and cards from us. She's in a nursing home. So it, it certainly brightened her day. I know that making cards will brighten someone else's. So there's my card. Okay, so in the newspaper they had asked for uh, cards um, for seniors, but they've also asked for people to make posters um, of inspiration and thanks to our local um, healthcare workers, uh, police officers, uh, firefighters, uh, EMT workers. So you can post these in your window or they're looking for you to share them uh, with them directly so that they can share those those posters and images uh, with particular police departments, um, firehouses, hospitals, and, and doctors. So um, I am going to make a little inspirational poster inspired by Matisse, and that's something we talked about last week where we cut out different colored papers to create shapes. And put um, all of those together to create one big collage. So I'm going to do that and this time I'm going to say thank you and um, when I'm done the Smithtown uh, local Smithtown government is asking for you to take a pic of your work and email it to them and I'm going to include that email um, information at the end of this video. So let me start by making my poster.
Okay, so here's my little poster. It's nothing um, it's too spectacular, but it it's what I want to share with the people in my community who are working really hard to make sure that we stay safe. Um, so I'm going to post this in my window, but before I do that, I'm going to share it with a few people. I'm going to share it with the website, um, the email that I'm going to give to you at the end of this video, which is for the Smithtown government. Um, but I'm also going to give you the email information for the Doodle Brigade. And the Doodle Brigade is um, a group of kids, parents, and educators that are using their talents as uh, artists to send inspirational messages and thank yous to the people on the front lines helping us during this very strange and unusual time. Uh, so you can decide to send your... Uh, inspirational posters and drawings to one or the other or both organizations and whatever you do and whatever you create don't forget to share with us so we can share that with the community as well here's my poster all right everybody thank you so much for tuning in today to today's episode of art ventures I am hoping that you are feeling inspired to make some of your own doodles and inspirational posters and cards for your community members that really could use something uplifting right now, an, an uplifting message, a beautiful drawing. Sometimes we're stuck at home and we can't really help as much as others can, but that's not really true. If you're a creative person and you're a maker, there's so much that you can do for your community. So. This is a, a really good start. I'm hoping that you'll make some cards and some posters in the next few days and send them off to the people who can really use them. Thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to share what you've created uh, with us on this thread or on our social media outlets. Facebook is Gallery North, Instagram is Gallery North LI, and you can rewatch these episodes on our website gallerynorth.org or on our YouTube channel called Gallery North. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. The more likes we get, the more fun we can have on YouTube and the more we can share with you. And if you're feeling really good about giving today, uh, you can do that on our website. It is a very, very difficult time for uh, our whole community and Gallery North would like to continue to provide you with uplifting and exciting content and we can do that if you help us out so you can do that on our facebook on our uh, website called gallerynorth.org and you'll see that under the art ventures at home tab click to donate whatever amount you're feeling good about giving and until tomorrow's lesson i'm mrs grass this is art ventures at home see you tomorrow bye